We will on three. One, two, three. We, we will. will. I feel like the commitment was very big this summer. People worked hard in the weight room. People were getting along. We like each other, not only off the court, but on the court, which is good. And we seem to all mesh very well. This is a totally different vibe with this team. You know, it's like from the time we first got together, you could feel it. The guys are just like, they're working as hard as they can. Everyone's working as hard as they can. Everyone's putting in the extra work. Everyone's like just so excited about what, what, they, what we believe we can accomplish. Well, I think what happened during the summer was you had a core group that returned that is very determined uh, to have a great basketball season. And then you incorporate six really good guys that are really good basketball players that have a common goal. And therefore, our work habits have been tremendous. The respect level among the players it is really good within our group. I'm very pumped up and I'm excited. I see a lot of myself in them when I was a freshman, you know, and I came in with, you know, upperclassmen, you know, and I, I, I wanted to work so I could play right away. They took to me just like I took to these young guys we have on my team, you know, so I, I just felt like it was just, just for the love and respect for the game to just do what was done for me. Yeah, we're real close with Des. I know we can talk to him about anything, uh, whether it's basketball, school, or any other topic. I know he's yelled at me a couple times over the summer about basketball, so it shows that he cares. He's also come to us about school as well. So, so therefore, they've pushed each other. They respect a teammate pushing them. They respect when a teammate gets on them. And so we just had a great summer. Basically, that's how we formed a team bond. We just started believing in each other, and uh, we really connected over the summer because we spent a lot of time together. I felt like we really connected and bonded very well. I feel like it's my Bob, boy, like my first, first day of school. You keep taking pictures when you get your book bag on. Everybody was on time, everybody had a great attitude, and, and uh, it's it definitely going to be indicative of how we're going to do this season. It's a very low maintenance team, a team that just does what they're supposed to do. Uh, and then that carried over into the fall, and then which led into that meeting. I think we all felt pretty good about what we had accomplished up until that point. I don't want this to be our only team meeting. We're gonna have meetings throughout the year. We travel, we'll have meetings. And I want everybody to feel comfortable. Well, I think the setting was tremendous. You know, we're out on my back deck and the weather was perfect. You know, it was excitement of the season starting the next day. And then blue crabs. This is uh, how I go yeah. about eating the uh, Merlin crab. We're all comfortable with each other. It's like one big family. I can call each and every single player on the team my brother. And I think that's what helps. I think that's what makes us be able to just act like who we are and be ourselves without anyone judging us. I want to say this uh, the hardest I've worked in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I really feel like we're a family here. Like Everybody likes each other. And uh, I think all y'all, y'all push me every day like we're on the bikes. And I'm, I'm the only one like in orange. I mean, and everybody was in the red. Everybody be yelling my name, like pushing me. So, like, I appreciate that. I think that we'd worked so hard and we've been so open throughout the fall that guys feel comfortable enough to open up and say what's really on their mind. So, it was a be great beginning. This year is all we have for this team. You know, honestly, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't want to play with any, anybody else. Like, you guys, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, man. You guys know that. I'll give you everything I have every day. If I'm not, please tell me. Yo, this every day where I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm not going as far as I can. You guys don't feel like I'm not. Let me know. It's like you know, I owe that to you guys. Yo, it was great. I told them at my team that they're one of my favorites of all time. Like I love, I love each and every one of them. You know, it, it got a little emotional, but you know, that's good. You know, because like it really, it, it showed like how much we really actually care about each other and how excited we are for for this season, how optimistic we are. I've been coaching a long time, and. You know, I, I don't know if I've been more fired up to coach than I am this, this year. He said it a lot. 
I said it loud over the summer. And when he was out recruiting, he said he couldn't wait to get back. Um, he was so excited for the first practice. Knowing that coach cares, I mean, that gives us no reason to not play hard, not do what he wants, you know, like just listen, play hard, compete, and we'll be fine. But I think everything just all falls back to that one goal that we all want, and that's to just make it to the tournament. And it's the last thing I say. We've been throwing the love word around a lot tonight, and that's good. It's a strong word. Yeah, I don't like losing. It hasn't set well with me, and I expect greatness. And I have a really good team. I have a lot of really fun guys to coach. And I'm happy day to day, and that's a good feeling. And when you're happy day to day, you usually coach well. And when you have players buying in, you have a chance to, to be real successful. The most proud I've ever eaten in my whole life.